Hello guys, welcome back to the Free Wise Men Football Podcast. So uh, right, in today's video, we're just going to be doing a nice little Q&A. You've sent us some questions, we're going to answer them. Obviously, there's we've covered all the Prem action from last week. Sorry about the phone. Always, every fucking week. Sorry about the language as well. <laughs> nah, but uh, yeah guys, just welcome back. Um, If you haven't seen, in our last video, go check that out. We did um our Premier League discussion of the previous week, so today's just like a bonus video for you guys, you know, to keep you happy. Nah. Yes. <laughs> it's not, no, it's not the case, no. It is. Well, because we're not discussing the games, are we? Yeah, but this, this is like a bonus a one. It's still coming out next week. Yeah, it's still coming out on the Wednesday, but this is like a Q&A, you know, just to... Uh, yeah. Sorry. Your questions? Uh, we asked you the questions on our Instagram, Free Wise Men Pod. Uh, yeah, uh, that's where we've got the questions from, and uh, that's what we're going to answer them now. We've got, we've got T in the back because he's waiting for the next, uh, for when we record the Wise Pod. The which, Wise Pod, which yeah. the first episode came out on Friday, so go check that out. The uh, link for that will be in, in the, the description. description. Yeah. Or just click on our channel and go to our last video. No, she's not on the same platform, is it? It is. Same, yes. well. same to YouTube channel. Oh, is he? Yeah. Yeah, calm. Yeah, got a clue. And then uh, we've got the 2010s World <laughs> 10. That's going like, to would have been out on the Sunday, I think. Mm-hmm. All right, so... Uh, love, to love it, guys. Love it. Yeah, uh, Free Wise Men Patreon, all one on the screen. <clears throat> Twitch, everything. All right, first one. Most underrated Get player. Get straight in, into it. Yeah. Straight into <laughs> it. <laughs> most underrated player in the Premier League. Mm, yeah. I think uh, we should hand over to Stu to answer that question first. Oh, that's, a, that's, that's hard on us, been Off the top uh, of your head as well. Off the top of my head. Um, obviously... Ooh, I don't know. It's hard. I'm hard to think oh, about. Oh, Susie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. I haven't had time to think thing about it. The thing is, because you can think of it like... Great like, players. There's, there's top players that are underrated, like, say, Salah. Or there's normal players. And then there's, like, players like... Moy, everyone's just yeah, born no. right there. I'm not agreeing with. Not literally. Jordan Henderson, Jordan Henderson yeah. yeah. Uh, if I had, if I had to Almiron. No. No, I no, don't. <laughs> <laughs> and he got that like, one goal and one assist. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go for Henderson, I think. Mm. Henderson. Reasons. He's, a, he's won three trophies, or how many? How many trophies is off Gerard? Was he already beat Gerard in trophies? No. Yeah, I, 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 Captain. Captain. Yeah. Captain. Well, Captain. Gerard never won a Prem. Huh? Yeah. He never won a Prem in the Champions and League. And if they, if he wins yeah, a Prem now, he's won a Champions League, a Club World Cup, a Super Cup, and a Prem. That's five, isn't it? Was that four? Four. And he's and he starts as well. And he's still it's like, not just he's, a, it's not just a club captain. He's twenty eight, isn't he? Yeah. I think, so, like that. I think so. It's still, it's still the, way, got, the way he's improved. The position that he plays as yeah, well, up to it um, in that CDM centre mid position, he like, can go on to the 35. Yeah. So, do you think he'll be a Liverpool servant and he'll just stay at the yeah, club till he retires? Yeah, yeah. Let's see, one go anywhere, anywhere I think else. he would want to be probably the best Liverpool captain ever. I think can he, he be though? What yeah. Yeah. is on his way? Because okay. obviously, guys, I'm just going to say my, my player is also. Jordan Henderson, but um, I've picked him just because I think he he's is, so influential in the good, team. Yeah, he's a good player as well. Like he's a good player now. Like he never used to be, but now he is. His passing player. range, especially. His passing now, the way he gets it over the top, and then like yeah. the mm. way he wins the ball back. But yeah. do you he think... got man of the match against too? Was it Sheffield United? I think so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what Harold? Yeah. Do you think I mean, that um, just players? Do you think that uh, Stevie G was better? As a player, yeah, Steve was better. Yeah, but if we talk Henderson about, could overtake him. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah Henderson I think still he hasn't reached his probably centre midfield prime yet. Probably not, but, but yeah. Because, uh, well, it just literally just Gerard's goals, really, that's separating them at the minute. Yeah, yeah it's just Gerard had that so eye passing, goal. passing wasn't that much different, was it? Mm. And then Gerard being a captain, a leader, was what made him so good as well. And is Henderson's he, is doing Henderson that now. a good leader to the yeah, players? Yeah, yeah, I think he is, yeah. I, I, cause I'm Why he shouts and that? Yeah, yeah. Pitch. Like a, like a Cho Hart back in his day. Yeah. <laughs> when he wanted the ball. He had a big mouth. Yeah, he kicked the ball. Yeah. All right. Uh, would you... Wait. What's yours? No, I'll go Henderson as well then. <laughs> we all support Liverpool, man. Yeah. Uh, Anfield sponsor us. Anfield. What? Yeah, stadium <laughs> sponsor. Uh, would you rather go to Leicester or Manchester United? Let's do this from, this from you or from as a player. Let's do it as both of you. Pardon? Like, say if it was us, would you rather go less than our Man United and then yeah. let's do it from, say, like a Sancho's point of view? You know what I mean? All right, so for me, I would rather go to Man United. Obviously, the biggest club in English yeah. football in history. In my opinion, mm. Man, going, nah. 
Man United is the most prestige. Man United, I probably think, is the biggest football club in the world, if not top three. It's the biggest football club in England. Yeah, but why? In though? Asia, it's the biggest football because the history. Every, everyone well, knows Man United. Well, they've got, got more trophies than now. But so it don't matter because they're bigger. still the biggest. If you talk about the Premier League, the first team, or if you went to a foreigner, the first thing that you'll probably see is Man United. Not oh, these days, Man City now. Well, oh, yeah, but all switched out now. Yeah. <laughs> it was Leicester back in the day, and then it was Man United. No, it was Chelsea. I've, I, I Liverpool, just, Liverpool, Liverpool you, Chelsea, like the Man United. Team likes, like, oh, no. Would you just go? Would you like if you okay? If you was playing, if you was playing for someone, I was playing for a football. No, say, Leicester's was, after you. Man United. If I was Jaden Sancho, would go I'd go for Man United because yeah. they could get a lot more publicity, more money. Man United are a much bigger team than Leicester, whether you like that or not. Man United Even are proven Leicester are they ruin players. Yeah. So, 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 so if I know you were so. Sancho, you'd just go for the money and just keep like ruin your career. Like think of Lukaku for that. Two seasons. Think of Smalling. Lukaku, Smalling. Di Maria. Falcao. Sanchez. Depay. Sanchez. Um, I think Van Pers is the only one that works. He, he performed. Yeah. Yeah, Zlatan that, that performed. Like, yeah, Ibra did all right. Pogba. Pogba. Nah. I, th- I, I think he's underachieved. I don't yeah, think he's even... He only, his stats have been better than anywhere else. Like the way he was... Where he was at Juventus. His stats are better now than he was at Juventus. I don't know. He's a bit of a sticky one, still. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but um, obviously I do hear what you're saying with the Leicester being a bigger team. I'd go to Leicester. I do hear what you're saying with Leicester being a bigger team, but no, a better Leicester team. Better, sorry, but it's a better team to develop. I think Man United are such a big team. He get a, so much more publicity, and if the mo- you got to think a footballer's career is very short. So for me, you go where the bag is. You secure that bag, and you run off with it. In tight hands. Well, I think football's changing. Like, let think about it. Ten years, Leicester could be a top team. Like, you know what I mean? This yeah, they could only start to be one, though, aren't they? That's what I mean. Very, but if they get more money, as soon as the mentality moves away from going to the set big clubs, yeah, then yeah, I'd go to Leicester. And if I was a player, I'd go to Leicester. Or would you go? You go to Leicester. If you yeah, I'd go. I'd go Leicester as well. For what reason? But you manager, uh, just the environment of the, just the club. I think like the owners. I think for well. me as well, I'd rather go to United because it's Manchester. There's Manchester and there's Leicester. You know, it's a bit. Yeah, Leicester's a nice little place. Yeah, it's, a nice... it's not. Have you been? I don't want to know. So, but from from what that? I've heard, from like a lot of places in Leicester have a very bad bad reputation, and I might mean like obviously there's bad places everywhere, but I think Manchester's just a lot a lot more prestigious. So that would be because yeah, you because you just want to see H. <laughs> now, nah, honestly, Bugsy Malone, not H, so there we go. Uh, what, well, so you Man United as well? No, I'm Leicester. Leicester, Leicester, Man United. Man United, so 2 1, points decision, uh-huh. split decision. It's not there when you get the numbers. What? Nothing. I'll take that. Alright, who's next? Oh, no, no. oh, wait, right. Oh, no, so the per- obviously this is the first name we've got. So this was a person called John. John underscore Harvey 24. Yeah. Uh, right, John. Nice, thank you for your questions, by the way. The first two of the names was anonymous. It got submitted through email, so. Does Grealish deserve a call-up? A international Ingl- call-up. Uh, mm. Jack Grealish, by the way, yes. just no confusion. Yeah. Grealish? Is, is there another Grealish footballer? Mark. Is it a footballer? Is it a Mark Grealish? <laughs> Somewhere. What? Sorry. Tease in the background being very immature right now. <laughs> uh, oh, guys. What, so yeah, yeah or no? I'll say no. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah, I'll say no. I'll How can you say no? What, who's he replacing, really? Madison? Well, well he's he's still got, he can still get in the subs. He's got the best... Record in the Premier League for as for uh, goals and assists combined. Does he for an English for an English midfielder? <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> yeah, but you're saying who is he replacing? That's better than Delhi, better than Madison, better than. You'd rather have Grealish over Delhi Ali. I'm not saying I uh, would. Yeah. In, in the in any in the England team. In the England line, yeah. I think Grealish is just skilled. You don't see uh, Dan Grealish. Delhi Ali's Mr. Hollywood. He's all. He's all about the flicks now. All yeah. That. Just Grealish can run at the defenders with pace, put them under pressure, get fouls, get free kicks. Get with him. <laughs> I'd rather not. Nah, but, I don't know, man. 
I just I don't think you can argue the the uh, the stats. Obviously, stats don't mean all. Because like someone said to me the other day, if in a team like Tottenham, the assists and the goals are shared because there's a lot better players. Whereas in Aston Villa, he's the only creative player. Do you think he's shown in a top six side? Yeah, yeah. They're hundred one. I I I think Jack Reach is in a very very talented footballer. Yeah. And if Aston Villa go down, which they might not do because they're looking to acquire some uh, some young English talent from Barcelona. By the way, we just had some transfer news come in that uh, the West Brom star from the, the West Brom star uh, called Louis Barry, who uh, went moved to Barcelona Academy for about three months ago, has been called up by Aston Villa, and they're looking for a one point five million deal, which could potentially keep the Villa up. Especially with uh, Wesley, Wesley injured now, yeah. looking for strikers. Maybe. Wait, he's 16, too young yeah. to be starting as a striker in the Premier right. League. Could be getting straight, yeah. Or he could go to the academy. Does he play at Barca? Oh, he doesn't play for the first team, he he's just that. the academy. I'm not, I, I wouldn't know, to be honest, I don't keep up with uh, Spanish football. From what, I, from what I know, I've seen, I've seen a lot of the under-23 squads and he hasn't been in them. That's mm. it. Nah, like surprising. he might be in the under-19 uh, subs or... I think he starts a few games. I just think over there he hasn't fit with the dynamic, and you know, they have a lot of passing going on. I think he's more yeah. of a, like a hit and run. run at you type of player. Yeah. yeah. Well, he might do good. He might do good if, if Villa can get him. It's a good deal. One point yeah. five million, young promising. He's got for Barcelona talent. as well, isn't it? I've yeah, heard he's it's paid two hundred fifty k and then getting. I've heard he's been. I've heard he's been promised uh, under twenty three football and first team training. So. What at Villa? No, that's. Mm. Mm. If you were him, would you take that over Barcelona? I don't, I don't just think just stay in Barcelona. I keep the money and get the sun. <laughs> to be fair, I think you got to, you got to, you got to take into perspective how he wants to develop his football career. Yeah. Compared to the there's benefits in both. But if he's not fitting into the Barcelona system, it's all good being there. But he might want to develop that. He, he clearly won't, in my opinion, won't start for Barcelona. Yeah. Ever. 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 So ever, I don't think ever he would. Just like Adama Traore, he's a great player, but even yeah. he had a couple games yeah, there, and then he went to Middlesbrough and Wolves. Yeah, now he's a star. Yep. Well, we should carry on with the transfer. Where do you think he should go? If Adama Traore, I think he should it, stay. Manchester. Oh, I think it, it's been linked with City, hasn't it? I thought. Oh, I, I think Manchester City would be a great move for him. Well, I could well, see well, him fitting over Sterling. They got Mares, Silver, Sterling, and Sana. Traore, but Traore can double as a. Uh, right, back. right back as well. Yeah, well. I think he's looking to be a right winger now. Just, yeah, yeah. Uh, just looking for maybe more Spurs. Or United, 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 out and out right winger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dan James that... is a left winger, isn't it? Oh. And he's shit as well. He's shit on the Sorry right. about that. I, I couldn't imagine seeing Traore in a um, Man United shirt. Mm-hmm. He's still young, even though he seems like he's been around for ages. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's still only, what, 23, 24? So he's still oh, yeah. got 28. I'm joking. <laughs> Uh, but yeah. So what we're saying, there, you think Greenish deserves call up because we've come off track. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Greenish definitely. Yeah. In my opinion, he's a it's twenty-three. Great. It's twenty-three. Yeah. Twenty-three. Yeah. That's the one. And uh, come with the facts again. Well, I don't, I don't know, man. I can't see, I don't know. I reckon like, if he gets in, but I don't see him starting anyway. Obviously, this what you don't see him starting. Well, there's some, there's some missing for him to not have been called up already. I think if he moved to a bigger team. Instead of struggling Aston Villa down in the relegation, it was, it was only like two years ago that it was the, it was the season, Villa got regular relega, relega, relegated, relegated. relegated. <laughs> that was the first time since like the sixties or something. There's been no Villa players in the international squad. But he's improved a lot since then. Yeah, no, but I'm not on about him. I'm on about like, oh, just in general. Like, Aston Villa like being Villa struggle. isn't the reason he's not getting in. I don't think. Trinkets yeah, but no. But if he played for a, could be his attitude. Yeah. In, in, in interviews, he is a bit of a. Beep, word, yeah, and uh, not gonna swear on this, are we? Yeah, right. twice. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but and like obviously like just his style, like his, his little shin pads and everything. A lot of people like, get. He's got like size nine, the like kid under nines <laughs> shin pads on it. A lot, a lot of people get the impression that it's quite arrogant. Yeah. yeah and yeah. I don't know what. I don't, obviously I've never met the guy, so I can't yeah. say. But you know, we um, I do think football wise, he is quality. With his interviews and like uh, I don't know, man. Like his dive is a diver, as well, isn't he? He's a big diver. Big diver, but the thing is, he wins a load of fouls. Mm. Yeah. So I don't know. Well, I I I'd, I'd say yeah, go on there, give him a call up, see what he can do. Put I, in the subs. As much as I like Villa, minutes. 
I don't like Villa, I don't like Grealish. If you can win us a World Cup, I don't care. Yeah, put it yeah. Right. you've got to put it in perspective, haven't you? Yeah. Right, let's uh, move right. on to the next question. Thoughts on the Ebra statue vandalism? So, can someone fill me in on this, please? Because I haven't. Uh... Yeah, I'll get it up. So, Ibrahimovic played for Malmo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that in Sweden. Sweden, right? ain't, yeah. Sweden, when he was younger. Mm-hmm. And his class is a legend there, yeah. Yeah, he's got obviously a... he's the biggest Swedish player, right? Now. And he's got a statue. They gave or, him a statue. Or is it Larsen? Mm. You know? And then they gave him a statue. They gave him a statue, yeah. yeah. And now he's bought shares in. Who knows? Know. He's bought <laughs> shares in rival club Hammer, Hammerby, yeah. yeah. He's bought shares in their rival mm. club Hammerby, and now Malmo fans have vandalised the statue. Oh, wow. Put toilet seats on his arms, took his nose off, sprayed it. <laughs> Bro- broke his legs with a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sprayed his Sprayed it silver. And they keep vandalising it. To like be fair, year. though, if I. Think that's coming back up now, is it? If I. Tell him, <laughs> if I draw. Um, you have, you, to, you, don't care you have to think in places like that. Where the rivalries are so big, it is a bit dodgy, and it buying shares in your rivals. Yeah, you shouldn't have bought. Yeah. I don't know why you'd go for them. Why don't you just do it for Malmo instead or something? Exactly. Or why they probably more not giving him the type of opportunities. But even so, it's not the. Uh... Obviously, it depends how much they love him. It's still not right. You should, shouldn't get vandalized because of it. But yeah, well, obviously he's he's confirmed for AC Milan now. Yes. Mm, so my boy wearing the number twenty one shirt. I don't know. I don't think so. Well, we Ronaldo got a hat trick yesterday. Yeah. I so he's. I think he's. Cool. Now got a hat trick in ten comp- ten competitions. No. Yeah, he's the first. He has first, got a hat trick in ten Portuguese competitions. First Portuguese player to get a hat trick in the Syria. Is he? Yeah. Um, Wait, who, where did Eusebio play? He played in the Portuguese league. Yeah, he played for Benfica. 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 Yeah. He got he got a hat trick and then assisted the fourth goal as well. So Ronaldo, guys, Cristiano Ronaldo is now the um only player in history, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong to score a hat. Yeah, he came on yesterday on the 55th minute. Sorry to interrupt. What, Ibra? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Did he do any good Ibra. or did he not say? It was nil nil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, Ronaldo's starting the decade off well now. Mm. Yeah. After not getting in the t- FIFA team of the season, the yeah. Wise, Wise Gaming. Yeah, Wise Gaming official, check that out. You add it there first. Uh, what do you think of that now? I think it's um, rightly. Rightly done. I it's rightly done, except the Kevin De Bruyne was a bit of a. Kevin De Bruyne should be in there. He's had a good season so far, but a year he was injured for the first half. Yeah, yeah. Well, who would you put in instead? I was. I said. I said Ziyech. I did. Has he had been been great this season though? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm not. I'm not. A Ziyech or maybe football. Ziyech or maybe Wijnaldum. I thought. Well, Fabinho was on. He did good with. But he's already basically a Liverpool team. Yeah. Well, that, they did dominate it though, stats wise. Like, they didn't, Man, win, they the did, they didn't win the Prem. So yeah, they did dominate. Players though, they did. They did dominate. Oh, Wijnaldum did well for Netherlands as well. Mm-hmm. Glad to see Messi in there. Mm. First the team goat. of the year in ages without seeing Ronaldo as well. Yeah, first, no, it's the first ever team in the year. He hasn't I think been. It is, yeah. Unless he might get the call up from the uh, votes. The twelfth so. player. Yeah. I voted for Sterling. I did. So I just want his card. I haven't voted. I voted for Ronaldo. Of course. Yeah. For, yeah. I want to vote for Salah. Salah. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just the options. It was like. Uh, Messi. No. No. It was no. Ronaldo, Sterling. Ronaldo. Sterling. Lewandowski. Yeah. Lewandowski on Yes, he was. was he? Lewandowski, Ziyech, Messi. No, I'll Ronaldo, for... Sterling. I'll vote for Ziyech. I think it was Fabinho, the other one. Is it Fabinho? Well, Salah's been overlooked and had the same stats as Marno. He's disgusting. How? What do you mean? Yeah, so... Salah is not recognised at all, man. Why do you think he's better than Marno? Yeah. In a way, yeah. You think Mohamed Salah yeah. is better than Saido Mane? Sadio Mohamed, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't. I think Mane is all round better for the team. In my humble opinion, Mane can't perform with Salah in there to give him the space. Mm-hmm. When they're all on, when they all go into Salah, Mane gets open the space. That's why he's doing more. Trust me. Well, I'm gonna have to. Uh, right, what's the next question? <laughs> he's not having that. You can't argue with a Liverpoolian. Uh. All right. Anyway, um, who will get relegated? Three teams. Yeah. Let me just have a quick update on the table. Do you reckon, Stuart, relegation? Um, Norwich for 20th. I don't think I'd see them going. Mm. Apart from this now. Um, Watford, maybe. It's tough. It's tough down there. It's all so tight as well. Just the, the whole, 
whole of the league spot makes it the top spot. It's pretty tight. I want to go to Norwich Villa Brighton. Uh, I don't know. You just, Brighton? Why? Why? What? I know. Four points off the relegation zone. So, West Ham in two. Yeah, but so that's uh, West Ham. Exactly. Brighton are a good team. I'm going to go Norwich last. Then I'm going to probably say... Uh, Norwich what? I'm probably going to say Norwich. Bournemouth 19th. And then I'm going to say Aston Villa. I think Watford might scrape survival. Well, I know last episode I contradicted myself and said uh, Watford will go down. But looking at it now, I think Bournemouth might have an extra little bit of quality. Or, but I don't know because the Watford team's really good as well. I want to say Norwich Villa Brighton or Norwich Bournemouth Villa. I'm going Norwich Watford Villa. Why, but why not warm off though? They're in the relegation zone now. Why are you overlooking them? Because they are. They've, they've, I, think they've they've got, ooh, I think they've got the extra quality. Fair, fair, fair. fair All right. Fair, uh, fair. Who has surprised you the most this season? Team, team and wise. Player. Oh. Uh, mm. Sheffield United team wise. What are you about, you Guinness? Oh, well, I think, I think less that, but they didn't surprise nah. me. Though. I said it from the start. They so oh. To be fair to me, I said it to, from the start, didn't I? Yeah, you did say it from the start, but you know what team? I'm gonna say Leicester. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna say Leicester because they have surprised me the most at the start. I was uh, arguing your point. I was saying Leicester will not do good. They're gonna finish bottom half of the table. That's what you said. <laughs> I, said uh, I said I said they definitely won't finish top six. I don't remember that. In the original podcast, I said they won't finish top six. But they have Sorry finished. about the dog in the room. No, no, I'm talking about Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> but they have finished top six. Yeah. Well, they haven't finished they top haven't finished Well, they're second, but it looks, looking at the top six, they're 15 points ahead of uh, Wolves and Tottenham. They're six so and Are you going for Leicester as well? Nah, six, I'm seven. Noise, yeah. Oh, actually. The Sheffield Wolves done it last year. Palace. Fuck it. Come on. Oh, you could say Arsenal. Arsenal, yeah, 26. Yeah, what? Yeah, because of how bad they're doing. Oh, like, cause of how oh, bad they're oh, doing. oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> could, yeah, true. The, uh, all Arsenal fans were saying that they were going to get top four, weren't they, yeah. didn't they? And Arsenal, uh, Everton are big contenders for the most surprising. Yeah, Everton no, as well. I'm, 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 I'm going to stick with Sheffield, to be honest. But they've came up and... Yeah, getting a solid t- top place in the league. Yeah. I'm going to stick with... um. 100% uh, Leicester, I didn't have a clue. Going on to players, I, the player that surprised me the most is Jack Grealish. Was when Villa was coming in, I was saying, when Villa came up, sorry, I was saying Jack Grealish is an, uh, he's a championship level player. He'll do all right, but he won't do as good. And now is the fact that he's the highest scoring and assisting English midfielder in the <laughs> Premier League. It just gone, and the way his performance goes to show to me that he's done very good. For so team, it's surprising for me. For team, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go... You know what? Hmm. I'm going to go Everton for team. Everton? Yeah. What surprising team? Yeah, like 11th. 11th. <laughs> Jesus, I saw out the dog, guys. <laughs> the team, 11th. Like, with what they spent as well. Do you not feel Arsenal's more of a shock than Everton, though? Yeah. Uh, I've never backed Arsenal, man. They're just spineless. Be, yeah. Oh, Everton spent a lot of money as well, though, to be fair. They're just spineless jelly babies. I never backed them. I knew, I knew they'd never do well. Been a, a, lot, a lot of improvement on the heart, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, they actually have. I mean, you just look on AFTV, the response at the... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the regulars, the troops, the Claudes, the yeah. Ties, the DTs are giving. All right, what about... Shout out AFTV, shout out Robbie. What about player wise then? Yeah. Player oh what's yours? Well, said, what Jack was it Grealish. again? Surprise you. Yeah, yeah. It's hard again, right? <laughs> She's got out his phone, he's just having a look at some stats. No, I just need to look at that. Player wise. Who who are you saying in this? No idea. No, I've got ideas but it's hard to pick. I'm gonna go with Vardy. Bad. Why did you think he was done? Why? I didn't think he was done, but I didn't expect him to be running away with the top goal scorer. The way he is. is he top goal scorer? Yeah. yeah. But my was What's he on? Top by six, isn't it? Blimey. Yeah. yeah, to be fair, he, that is yeah. actually a shout. Oh my god, look. Uh. <laughs> Danny Ings! Yeah, Jamie Vardy's yeah. top with 17. Danny gonna... Ings second with 30. Yeah, I was just going to say Ings. On level with Aubameyang. But no. Southampton aren't doing great, are they? Yeah, they are, now. Yeah, they've brought it back a lot. Though. They're like 12 a... now. Got it 12. Give Danny Ings the call up. 
I'm bored. Oh, I'm yeah, bored. I was going to say Dr. Dun- Dunnings. After... Oh. After being in the He's been in Egypt. <laughs> yeah, he was injured for like two... He's been injured for like two years. He no, was a decent striker, man. Yeah, he was at Burnley first. And he was decent, yeah, man. He just had... He was a poacher more. He had an eye for, a good eye for goal. But like Alan... The, Alan the bold Shearer. And then uh, Rashford and Sammy back then out. Fourth. Rashford at, Wait, ta- Rash, where's Rashford? 12. He's not there. No, he's not oh, there. Yeah, he Rashford. 12 four. goals. Tammy on 12 goals. Look Why is there no third? Always oh, good to draw the second. Level, then, no. Rashford. Look at the uh, assist. assist uh, De Bruyne at the top with 12. Only four behind is Trent Alexander Arnold, the right. Where's um, Jack Reilly, sir? He's got five, I think. Has he got five? He's not even, not even in the top five. So. Well, when you look at the players in the top five, you've you got... you look at the players in his team as well, I'm pretty crap. Daniel James. Wesley. It must be hard work with him. Yeah, it must be hard to assist Wesley. <coughs> De Bruyne flying ahead on 12. The Liverpool full-backs are amazing, aren't they? Robertson and Trent. Raul Jimenez is actually in the... Uh, Raul Jimenez. Good Yellow cards, Lama's uh, winning it. How many? Uh, eight. <laughs> Do you have any red card stats? Yeah. Christian Cabaselli with two. Hyung Ming Son, Son with two. He's <laughs> son of a. Son of a. No, right, let's have a reckon. Who, who are your neck? Who are your most surprising Dan? Uh, I, I was gonna do Ings as well. I'm back on that as well. I'm gonna go Ings. Ings. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, you go. Who are you going with? I went Jack Grealish. Final question is. Final question. Last question. Jack Grealish or James Madison? What in, a, in just in a team? Would you, would, you, would you take it your team or would you... Oh, so if, I, if I was a manager? Yeah. Oh, if I was a manager with my, my team, I'd take Jack Grealish, to yeah, be honest. I'd take Grealish as well. I'd take Madison. Why? Take... Madison's just better, I think. <laughs> what reason? His passing and his work rate and his shots. So it's Grealish and work rate? Yeah, but I just prefer Madison, so then what? Well, I think Grealish is. Oh, <laughs> Grealish then? Yeah, exactly. Grealish, I think Grealish, honestly, when he runs at the defenders with pace and strength and skill, I think he instills fear. Man, he looks like a bit of a pussy. Though. <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, but you know what? Not, opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got one and they all stink. So we're never going to agree on it. <laughs> so, there we go. <laughs> We just covered a big, the quick, big FA Cups over the weekend. Uh, <laughs> Fulham beat Villa 2 1. Shock. Wow. Not really? Fulham love being Villa, don't they? Well, to be fair, they're two similar, <laughs> they're two similar match teams, aren't they? Wolves and United, 0 0. <laughs> That's not. Huh? Where's the replay going to be at? I don't know, it's next week, I think. Like a few weeks. Bournemouth beat Luton. <laughs> 4 0 Leicester Wigan. Middlesbrough top and Tottenham 1 1. going to have to be a replay there. Yeah, uh, uh, well, when Middlesbrough go to um, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, they're going to get put to the sword. <laughs> <laughs> Merseyside Derby in the cup, Liverpool. Uh, play the kids and beat Ever- Everton. Liverpool first. Oh, I'm seeing all these memes about. Um, two top two teams in the Premier Liverpool and Liverpool reserves. No, in it's not a meme. Liverpool. It's not a meme. It's not oh. me. Bill Shankly said it. It's not a well, I don't know what memes back then. I don't know what that is. Yes, I do. One of the Liverpool greats. And then what? And then what was what? What we got to say about that? About that game? What, no, what was you going to carry on? <laughs> well, I was going to. Well, I thought. I thought it was saying, but Liverpool reserves are one of the best team in the Prem, which they're not. That's not what I said. So I there's two great so teams. Two great teams in Merseyside, Liverpool and Liverpool Reserves. So I must have, uh, well it's not the Reserves, the Subs, isn't it? No, because they were the Reserves. Yeah. So none of the Subs played? Not really, no. It's like Lana, Divock, Origi. Did he not make the bench? No, well, no, but the bench. Klopp, Klopp don't care about everything, he just puts whoever he wants out. And then Arsenal scraped a 1-0 against Leeds United. Well, it's a good result for Arsenal. Leeds played well, actually, to be yeah, fair. Well, Leeds are a quality team, I think they're definitely... I've seen a lot of people saying that... Um, Leeds are a Premier League team, don't know where to play. They're one touch, just passing. And then, uh, quick, quick big ones from the draw. No, there's not many. <laughs> nah, no. nothing worth covering. Well, yeah. we do as a. United setter. Co- Coventry oh, versus that's, Bristol that's Rovers. Oh, yeah. Coventry versus Bristol Rovers. What? 
Coventry versus Bristol Rovers. No, it's, Com- <laughs> <laughs> it's Coventry or Bristol Rovers. Yes, yeah, so they've got to play each other yeah. to see who the winner is. And if Coventry win, they blue Birmingham City Football Club could we'll be, be away in the away stands. in their own ground. And if they lose, they'll be the only team to ever lose. In right. their- at an away game in their own ground. And then so. it's the Manchester Derby tonight. Tonight? In the, yeah, in the League Cup semi final. And then it's not the League Cup semi final, surely. Oh, it yeah. is. So do you think both teams will come out maximum strength? Probably, yeah. Oh, probably not as much as well, both, well, neither of them. Well, they're probably both down in the well, I don't think you're not. I don't if, think you're Man not. You've nothing to fight for. Man City have given up on the friend. I think United will beat them 2 1. Where, where is it there? Marcus Rashford. Empty had or... Is that the empty had? The empty had. If it's at the empty had, they'll win. Mason Green want to come on and get a goal. Would great Mason Green want to start? I don't know if he's a starter yet. Probably better. And then it's Leicester. Game. It's at Old Trafford. It's yeah, Leicester. I think, I think Setter will take it then. Leicester Aston Villa. Well, it's two legs, isn't it? Well, well first leg, I think. See it's Leicester Aston it. Villa tomorrow. Ooh. Where's that? Villa Park? It's at King Park. Yeah, I think King Power will... say I think Leicester will put them to the sword. <laughs> Sounds like that, yeah. <laughs> put them to the sword. That's it then. Right, guys, I think it's been Quick like, half hour. Obviously, it's been a little bit of a gym jam, but these are your questions, so we're just doing the, you a favour. So yeah, well. we didn't really want to cover like, every FA Cup game, so it'd be a bit long and no one really cares about either, so we just did this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, make sure you get out all the social medias on the screen. All the wise pod, wise gaming official. It'll all be on the screen. And, and uh, boxing the underscore wise. Yeah. Boxing underscore Not wise. wise. Underscore boxing. Not boxing, wise. Underscore. <laughs> boxing underscore wise. That's my channel. Big things coming, okay, guys. Listen, Pat- thank you very much. Thank you on Twitch, everything. Get out it all. Thank you, like, comment, share, subscribe. Look out for the wise pod. Thank you. Goodbye.